G'day. Beekeepers of ancient Egypt noticed some 3,000 years ago that there's something very strange about the genetics of bees. Now, female bees lay eggs. If an egg is not fertilized by a male, then the egg is actually sure to hatch into a male bee, a drone. Whereas if that egg is fertilized by a male, then it's sure to hatch into a female bee, a queen. So every male bee has just one parent, a female, but every female bee has two parents, a female and a male which makes for a very curious family tree of a bee. But let's start with a single bee, a single male. A male has just one parent, a female. Whereas that female there would have two parents, a female and a male, which means my original bee has two grandparents. Let's go back to the great grandparents of that bee down there. Well, this female here has two parents, this male here has one parent. So there's three great grandparents of my original male. So let me keep drawing that family tree, that male down there. Watch me. There it is. There's the family tree of a single bee going back many, many generations. Okay, let's count the number of bees each generation. We start with one single bee, which has one parent. That bee has actually two grandparents and three great-grandparents. The number of great-great-grandparents is one, two, three, four, five. The number of great-great-great-grandparents is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Count these great, 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 great grandparents. I think I've run out of greats. Uh, this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And next generation back is a count of 21, 34, 55, 89, 144, and so on. Look at these numbers coming from the generations of a bee. Well, I have to say from this, happy bee number day, everyone.